So does organic farming leave the countryside barren like conventional farming? No, and certainly with certified organic farming standards, you have to make sure that your farm has at least 15 to 20 percent uh, wildlife on it in terms of natural habitat biodiversity. Um, you know, which you'd clearly see from looking around this farm. There's, there's huge areas of like all along the creek line, which are, which are left in their kind of natural riparian state, if you like. And that's really an important part of organic farms is that we're not exploiting every single area of the farm and turning it into kind of mass production. We, we really work with nature. So we recognize that we need the natural habitats maintained in areas of the farm for birds to breed in and nest in and for insects to do their thing in and pollinate flowers and bring in beneficial insects to help reduce some of the things we don't want eating our crops so yeah certainly the opposite I think organic farms have been proven again by numerous studies to actually have 50 percent higher levels of wildlife on them um, higher levels of birds and higher levels of bees so